Good morning, boys and girls. Today our story is called Fancy Nancy, and it is written by Jane O'Connor. In this story, the main character is a little girl named Nancy. Nancy loves to use fancy words. So I'm wondering, while we're listening to this story today, can you listen for your favorite word? And at the end, I want you to tell your family what your favorite new fancy word is. Thanks. Have, enjoy the book. Fancy Nancy, written by Jane O'Connor and illustrated by Robin Priestess Glasser. Fancy Nancy. This is my room before I made it fancy. I love being fancy. My favorite color is fuchsia. That's a fancy way of saying purple. I like to write my name with a pen that has a plume. That's a fancy way of saying feather. And I can't wait to learn French because everything in French sounds fancy. Nobody in my family is fancy at all. They never even ask for sprinkles. There's a lot they don't understand. Lace trim socks do help me play soccer better. Sandwiches definitely taste better when you stick in frilly toothpicks. A princess is supposed to keep her tiara on. What's a fancy girl to do? I ask my doll, Maribel. Her full name is Maribel Lavinia Chandelier. Then I get an idea that is stupendous. That is a fancy word for great. Maybe I can teach my family how to be fancy. I make an ad and stick it on the fridge. Soon there's a knock on my door. My family saw the ad. They want to get started right away. The trouble is, my family doesn't own any fancy clothes. That's okay. I go find. What's that fancy word? Oh yes, some accessories. Ooh la la! My family is posh. That's a fancy word for fancy. My mom twirls in front of the mirror. Why don't we go somewhere fancy tonight? How about dinner at the King's Crown? Dad suggests. Wow, my parents are acting fancier already. May I escort you lovely ladies outside? The limousine is waiting. My dad is our chauffeur. That's a fancy word for driver. When we arrive at the King's Crown, everyone looks up. They probably think we're movie stars. I'm so proud of my whole family. They eat with their pinkies up and call each other darling. For dessert, let's have parfaits, my mom says. That's French for ice cream sundaes. Amazing! My mother knows French. When our parfaits are ready, I curtsy and say merci. I carry the tray like a fancy waiter. Oops! I trip. I slip. The tray does a double flip. I don't feel fancy anymore. I want to go home. After I get all cleaned up, I put on my dressing gown. Those are fancy words for bathrobe. I feel much better. I'm ready for a parfait. I tell my parents, thank you for being fancy tonight. I love you, my dad says. I love you, my mom says. And all I say back is, I love you, because there isn't a fancy or better way of saying that.